Hello, I'm Tyler, I own MK Machining, and this is my print crib. Here, we have Token. He's running TPA. That's a uh, pretty flexible mid-80s durometer uh, blend. These are four MJF 5210 Pros. We party pretty hard. Uh, all running at the moment. We run a mix of nylon 11 and nylon 12 on these. Now, follow me and I'll show you my metal print room in my print crib. It's very toasty, and we have two DMLS machines running some prototype driven arms and MKM suppressors right now. Over here, we've got a whole bunch of parts. We've got some MP5 parts, some other cam parts, and uh, all kinds of stuff. Uh, we also have a full color Mamaki 553 3D UJ. It basically does photorealistic color. Now, let's see what happens with the rest of the process. So, what's cool about these MJF machines uh, is the machines can stay running pretty much 24 seven. Uh, they're cart based, so carts will slide in that are preloaded with material, make the parts, the parts are in the carts, then they get shoved into boxes, and I'll show you more. So, carts get loaded with material, and then they wind up with that material being pumped up on top, augered up on top, we can get technical if you want. Uh, so a platform drops down and is replacing the material below it, up above, and then you wind up with a chamber of parts. From there, they get shoved up into a natural cooling box, which is right on the other side of this wall. Yep, not too crazy exciting, uh, but we keep track of what builds are in what boxes. And then those carts get reloaded with material and then they go right back into the printers. We'll show you some post-processing. Here's the processing stations. So carts sit in there, get unpacked in there, get loaded in there. In here is a binder jet metal room. It's very dusty. Well, powdery, technically, because uh, the parts are made of powderized material. Same with the DMLS machines, but they're a little more self-contained. So this is a desktop metal shop system. That's the processing station for those parts back here. We have mostly MJF post-processing. Lake back here blasting off parts. Uh, it's pretty much like mostly today's parts. They're all over the place soothing elevator music to keep everybody relaxed back here. Uh, so you basically have two large automated sand blasters, but they're made for industrial printing, so they, they charge a whole lot more money. Uh, Cerakote booth back there. So we have a nice room with nice filters in here. Jacob takes the utmost care in mixing and weighing his catalyst and Cerakote. Uh, so throughout the years of spraying production parts, uh, particularly like driven arms where aesthetics are very important, uh, we have figured for like best color accuracy, we don't dye the parts before spraying FDE. Uh, so small steps like that can lead to positive visual changes. Uh, and again, as we, we tell any of our customers, quality is key. Uh, we're not after the lowest cost, we're after the best. So we value quality over cost. We have uh, OT working hard with all his parts and uh, we'll basically get out of here so we don't uh, take up their time. Good job, Lake. And that's a, a very short walkthrough of my print crib. Now we're gonna go out to the pool but the camera can't get in there so. 